Hi there everybody, it's Martin Twycross here with another video short. Today's video is a 10 minute clip from a class that I ran titled What Can We Learn From The Great Mediums Of The Past? This was the final class in my online course Great Mediums Of The Past where I looked at the lives of the five mediums who've most inspired me. And they are Gordon Higginson, Estelle Roberts, Helen Hughes, Morris Barbonell, and Harry Edwards. This clip is titled How to Develop Like the Great Mediums. In it, I compare the differences in development between mediums today and those great mediums of the past. And I talk about what we can do to develop ourselves like those great mediums. And this includes understanding and spiritualizing ourselves, developing a relationship with the spirit world, and approaching mediumship as a sacred form of service. I do hope that you enjoy the video. What is different in terms of practice between what they did then and what we do now? Um, now remember, right, the thing is, there was no, uh, in their day, there were no super fantastic courses. There was no Arthur Finley College. There was no uh, mentorship programs. There was no, you know, none of this existed in their day. It was much more simple, much simpler in that they recognised they had to understand self first. They recognised that medium know thyself. Before you can really serve spirit and recognise the spirit world, as Gordon said, we have to know our own spirit first. We have to recognise that we're spirit. We have to develop a relationship with the spirit world before we can truly serve spirit. And then we need, then need, need to, to develop that relationship with spirit and work with it and work with spirit. You know, really, when you think about it, there's nothing particularly complicated about it. I think in a way we sometimes over, over, over complicate mediumship in this day and age. But these great mediums, remember, they had a love of God. They understood um, the spirit world. They, for, for me, they were deeply religious. It, for, it was sacred service they were given. I think a lot of that's been lost now. People just want to learn mediumship as a skill. Oh, I quite fancy being... Last week I learned how to do, how to do cooking. I learned how to, uh, to do, you know, patisserie baking. This week I'm going to learn to be a medium. Next week I'm going to go and learn to do scuba diving. It's just another gift or ability for some people to develop. And it, it's more than that. We, we have to get back to that all of these things don't make us a better person, but we have to learn to spiritual, spiritualise ourselves and develop spiritually. That's what I believe. You know, at the end of the day, when you think about it, there's no real exercises that any of these mediums did that made them fantastic. What made them fantastic was self-development. They all didn't go to Mentor X, College Y. They didn't all go to do it with this person, that person. They didn't all do this exercise. And, you know, it was that single exercise that made them excellent. What made them excellent for me was the work they did on self. What made them excellent was the spiritual qualities they developed, that love, that compassion, that willingness to serve, that willingness to sacrifice so much of their lives, that recognition of the reverence of the act of mediumship, the reverence of the healing, that it is God's work, it is sacred. We've lost so much of that. And for me, that really, that's where the problem lies, is that, you know, pe people think that, that we can just throw practice at it. If you practice day in, day out, you'll get fabulous. And you won't, you won't. Because you're not, it's, it's the self-development, it's the spiritual development that will really make the difference. When you, when you listen to Gordon's teachings, Gordon taught at the Arthur Finley College for many, many, many years. There's multiple recordings, and I, I put quite a number of them on the Gordon Higginson website. And when you listen to them, Gordon doesn't give you practical advice about doing this or doing that. He's given you advice about making God real in your life, developing your relationship with the spirit world. He's giving you advice about getting in touch with higher forces. The clues are all within it. It's all there. And people say, oh, I don't really want to listen to lectures. 
And, you know, I, I love lectures. And really, all I'm doing now is lecturing, isn't it? That's what I'm doing to you today. It's a lecture. I love lectures. And a lot of people said to me, oh, there's no interest in lectures. All people want is practice. All people want is just exercise after exercise, just banging them out, banging them out, group work, banging them out. And I disagree because I think Gordon had it right. At the end of the day, we need to go back to that understanding. If we haven't got the understanding, then, you know, if we work from a lack of understanding, our work will be limited. If we look, work from a lack of spirituality, our, our work will be limited. It's only when we grow ourselves spiritually and we develop our understanding that that comes back into our work and we, we, we remove the limits from our work. Our work becomes able to rise and to, and to reach the quality that it needs to reach. Now, I think there's been a lot of mediums who haven't developed their full potential because of that. But yeah, I, I think in a way, if we could pull people back to work on self, medium, know thyself, healer, know thyself. You know, if you want to touch souls, you have to have touched your own soul. If you want to work with the spirit world, you have to touch the spirit within. You have to recognize the reality of the spirit world. The spirit world should be as real to you as anywhere else. When I see a medium stand on the platform and say, I don't even know if the spirit world is real. I just think, ah, they haven't done the work. They haven't done the work on self. They haven't recognized the truth. They don't have the, their own spiritual understanding. You know, you may feel that you don't have any spiritual gifts at all. You may feel, well, I, I'm not a medium. I'm not a very good speaker. I'm not really much of a healer. But you might have a passion for wanting to share the quality of those who do have those abilities. You might have a passion for wanting to facilitate helping other people to develop. You know, in the past, one thing they had in the past we don't have any more as well is that uh, they had people who were willing to sit for others. People who were willing just to observe, just willing to give their love, to give their power. Uh, a tape, I received a tape through the post actually yesterday from somebody. Somebody sent me another Gordon tape and I started listening to it. And Gordon was talking about uh, circles, how to set up circles to develop, which is fascinating. And I was like, wow, this is a nugget. It's a gem. Crikey. Whoa. Gordon on circle work. Who wouldn't want to hear that? Hands up. We'd all like it. I know we would. So I will get, I'll, I'll get that one recorded and get it out there soon. But he said that we should have developing circles. And within those developing circles, we need people who just sit, who are just there for people to work with, who are there to give their love, who are there to help create the conditions needed. And how many circles do you go in this day and age where there are just people who are not, willing, not, not looking to develop? In this day and age, everybody wants to be the developing medium. Everybody wants to be the one who's moving forward. We don't have those people who are just willing to sit and be and give. And we need it. We need it. But interestingly, when you are sitting and giving, your soul is growing, your soul is developing, you're spiritualizing yourself. Being in the presence of spirit is actually helpful, it's beneficial. Gordon used to say that no time spent in the presence of spirit is ever wasted. No time spent in the presence of spirit is ever wasted. And that means that even if we're not seeking to develop, just being present will help to develop us anyway. Which is wonderful, isn't it? Wonderful. I've heard a great medium who was taught by Gordon said that guys are used differently in our times compared to time of the great mediums. Do you agree? Mm, not really, no. I believe the way spirit work is the way spirit work. And I don't believe the guides work differently now than from how they did in the past. Yes, there should be some degree of evolution. I get that. There should be some degree of progress. But when the quality of today's work is lower than the standard of the past, I mean, that's not progress. Where's the progress there? It's not there. So I disagree. I believe that the way they worked with all the meetings of the past is the right way because of the results they achieved. And I believe that there's no difference, really. That can happen today. But we have to develop the relationship 
with our guides. We have to develop the relationship with spirit. We have to make that time to sit for spirit, to sit in their presence. We have to make the time to develop ourselves as the channel. If you found this video helpful, then do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.